eight mountains and foothills. Make sure you're being extra careful out there at this point if you're headed out on the roads. After the fog clears, then we'll feel the heat with that humidity. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s, but we'll feel like 90 for a lot of the day today because of that humidity. And then we'll have some late afternoon and evening storms. Those storms do bring with them a, a severe weather threat. It's a marginal threat, which is a one out of five on the severe weather scale. Temperatures are right around 70 degrees right now, and they'll climb as we head through the next 12 hours. So I'm sure a lot of kids will be in pools, bodies of water. Make sure everyone's keeping an ear out for thunder and watching radar as well. You can do that on the WXII app, by the way. As we're heading towards the afternoon, we'll be concerned about thunderstorms and even a non severe thunderstorm, of course, brings lightning and that can be deadly in and of itself. But the severe thunderstorm threat is for damaging winds, which our trees will be a big issue there, as well as power lines. Today, we're not as concerned about hail as we were yesterday. Surrey County saw some hail for sure in the foothills. As we head towards the mountains, temperatures get to the upper 70s. We've got that thunder and lightning in the afternoon with some severe thunderstorms possible in the high country as well. Right now we are dry and those clouds starting to pull out of the area as well. But as we head into the afternoon, that severe threat pops back into our picture. It's the same level of threat as yesterday. Marginal threat once more is a one out of five on the severe weather scale, but it is higher than just kind of a standard summer spring thunderstorm. We're talking about widely scattered thunderstorms that bring heavy downpours and damaging winds. Our hail threat is lower than it was yesterday. We could see some small to medium medium sized hailstones, but likely not the size that we saw for our Saturday storms. As we head through the next couple of hours, even by early afternoon, some storms starting to pop up, especially in the mountains and the foothills. As we head through the next couple of hours after that, this is 4:15 p.m. today, where we start to see more activity throughout the triad. This could mean that if you are spending time outside doing some yard work or gardening, as a lot of people are in late May, make sure you're staying hydrated throughout most of the day. But then even by 4:15, keeping a closer eye on that radar into dinner time hours, probably not the best night to grill out. You might be able to sneak it in because these are scattered thunderstorms just like what we had yesterday so some folks will stay dry just keep an eye to the sky while you're doing that as we head towards 9 15 a couple more storms pop in and then we'll start to dry out as we head into the later hours tomorrow afternoon and evening though more scattered storms at this point we don't have a severe storm threat from the storm prediction center that could change though i'm thinking we've got enough of the atmospheric ingredients out there for some severe storms so we'll have to watch that one closely for sure and then on two Tuesday just kind of looks like a super soaker of a day. Rain starting in the morning, lasting throughout the day into the evening. I'm not really expecting severe impacts there, but enough rain that it'll impact your day for sure. As we head through the next couple of days after that, lots of high rain chances. Another impact day on Thursday. And then finally, by the weekend, starting to dry out, which is good news because it is Memorial Day weekend. We'll be right back.